I have gotten a lot of requests from Facebook Messenger and text messages from friends and acquaintances asking me to go into depth about how I am losing weight. So I wanted to do a short video and let you know what's been going on so far and how I've been going about it. And everything that I touch on in this video will also be available on my website at elenasegura.com. Click the writing tab and you will see my weight loss plan. You can click on that and I will have all kinds of information that I touch on here very shortly. There will actually be links and more information about that on that blog post. So my weight loss started when I had oral surgery. I had to have all four of my wisdom teeth removed. It was a much more painful process than I thought it would be and a much slower recovery time than I thought it would be. I went about three weeks where I could not chew any solid foods. I lived on pudding, soup, mashed potatoes, yogurts, um, probably only taking in about 300 calories a day of that. I really didn't have much of an appetite. I was only eating so that I could take my antibiotics and my pain medication basically. So about three weeks afterward, when I finally start to kind of recover and I'm able to get out of the house, I try on my regular clothes and they were too big. I had to get a size smaller. Once that happened and I saw what it looked like, knowing that I needed to lose weight for quite a while, but just not having the motivation to start out, I realized I'm going to use all of my pain and misery and suffering because it was really, really, honestly a horrible situation. I'm going to use that as my kickstart to start a transformation journey for my body, my mind, and my spirit. So instead of just going, okay, now I can eat foods again, I'm going to go for it. I did not do that. I downloaded a calorie counting app so that I could start to track everything that I was eating and know exactly how much I was putting into my body. So I still track everything because my weight loss is ongoing. I have not hit my goal yet and I'm honestly not entirely sure what that goal is, but I will know when I get there. I am a very impatient person, so I set my goals very aggressively at 1,350 calories a day. Um, sometimes I am under that count and other days I go over slightly, but that is a very, very aggressive approach and I do not recommend that to anyone. And I do want to have a disclaimer here saying, I am merely giving you the information that people have requested, wanting to know how I've gone about losing the weight that I've lost thus far. I am not a medical professional, so if you are trying to lose weight, you need to talk to your doctor and you need to research any of these things, whether it be calorie counting or intermittent fasting or even working out before you embark on that type of a journey. Again, this is just my personal journey, what I have done to achieve the results that I've achieved so far. So I count all of my calories and what that led me to was reduced fat, non-fat, low fat foods, lean meats, uh, chicken breast, fish, um, and beef with vegetables and I make very low calorie soups about once a week because they're very hearty and filling and very healthy. Um, the second thing that I did, so I started to see results with the calorie counting quite quickly. I also started walking on a regular basis. So I walk five to seven miles a day. I usually take one day off or if the weather is horrible and it's raining outside, I'm obviously not gonna go out um, to do that. But on average, it's five to seven miles per day that I'm walking. I have an app on my phone which logs all my miles and all my steps and I have um, my goals so I know if I get my goal each day. Some days I do more. A few days ago I did nine miles. I walked for two hours. Um, and other days I struggle to hit that goal. Um, I can go from a more leisurely walk to very brisk to almost speed walking or I will speed walk intermittently. Um, kind of like hit or Tabata training where I go very fast for a short period of time and I slow it down and then I go fast again. Um, but I like to get out there. I just put my AirPods in. I listen to Audible, books on Audible, um, radio shows with music, podcasts. And sometimes I just go out and I just, you know, listen to the breeze and the birds and it's just a time to silence my mind and uh, become one with myself, okay, and with nature. 
So walking has tremendous benefits. And on my website, I will link a book called Walking One Day at a Time or One Step at a Time by Erling Kage. It is a fantastic read. Very, um, I don't know, it, it will uh, get you wanting to go walking, I think. And it's a short, short read. But the, the link to be able to pick that up on Amazon will be on my website. So we have the calorie counting, the walking five to seven miles a day, and then about four weeks ago, I implemented intermittent fasting. This is something that my son told me about. He does it not for weight loss, but for the health benefits, and he will do it maybe one day a week. Um, his are very long, 36 to 48 hours. He's even gone 72 hours, which that just blows my mind. I'm not trying to do that. So I started, and I do 18 to 20 hour fast, and about once a week I do a 23 or 24 hour fast. I am doing this to lose weight, okay? And for my health benefits. But first let's talk about the health benefits of intermittent fasting. It boosts your metabolism, it aids in fat loss, it helps regulate blood pressure, helps regulate blood sugar, it helps in the uh, regeneration of old destroyed cells for the regeneration of new good cells to come quicker. The longer you fast, then you hit that phase where those cells are turning over quicker. Um, those are just a tiny, tiny fraction of what intermittent fasting can do for you. So please get online. There's a plethora of information out there. So research that for yourself so you know what it's all about. It really is a great, great tool and a, a tremendous tool for weight loss. So basically what that means is I stop eating around six or seven at night. And if I'm on an 18 hour fast, I don't eat again for 18 hours. And then I have a six hour window in which to eat. So that puts me about two meals a day. And so I will usually break my fast with a small meal. And then a few hours later, I will have dinner. And that will again be a rather small meal because I've just eaten a few hours before. So instead of feeling overly hungry and wanting to gorge yourself, you're actually not because you're during the process shrinking your stomach and you have such a short window in which to eat that by the time you get to your last meal of the day, you're really not that hungry. Um, so that would be an 18 hour. I also do a 20 hour where I fast for 20 hours. I have nothing but water and black coffee, lots and lots of water, by the way, because you want to de detox your system and flush everything out. Um, so I will fast for 20 hours and then I have a four hour window in which to eat. So when I'm doing anywhere from a 20 to a 24 hour fast, depending on how the hours line up through the day when I started and when I finish, I only eat once a day. Those are typically only once a week, maybe twice a week. And usually I'm at 18 hours where I'm eating twice a day. So I'm eliminating breakfast completely, right? So if you do that five days a week, you're eliminating, if you're a breakfast person, then you are eliminating one meal a day, essentially. So you have to be able to lose weight because think of all those calories that you're not taking in, right? So when you do eat your meals, you still want to pay attention to what you're eating and not eat bad things. Break your fast with healthy whole foods and still not eat things that are horrible. Um, but what intermittent fasting does do, I believe, is it does help allow for that cheat day because I give myself one cheat day a week where I go out, I don't log everything, and if I want fettuccine, then I eat fettuccine. If I want the bread and the olive oil, I have it. Um, I have not eliminated anything from my diet. I still eat desserts, um, I still eat pasta, I still eat bread, I'm still able to have the things that I love. I still have a glass of wine once a week or maybe every two weeks, um, but it's just in smaller quantities um, or maybe just one day a week, right? It's not the rest of the, the week. I'm sticking to this plan. So um, then the other aspect of this is working out, obviously. We've already touched on the walking, but I'm not a big workout person. I am not trying to bulk up or get a lot of muscle. Um, I just want to tone up now that I'm starting to see some weight come off and be long and lean. So I have two pound weights, free weights, and four pound free weights, and a 10 pound kettlebell. And essentially the only thing that I'm doing, I'm working on my arms right now, 
And then I do some Pilates inspired exercises for toning my inner and outer thighs. Combined with the walking, I have found that that has been very successful for me. And at that point, at this point, that's all I'm doing. I'm not doing anything hardcore. Um, and I don't plan to at this time. So basically what I have done is I'm counting my calories, logging everything that I eat so I know exactly where I am. Even the days that I go over, I log it. I am burning calories by walking and doing, you know, the, the minimal workout that I'm doing with the free weights, but I'm still, you know, toning my muscles and burning fat when I do that. And then in turn with the intermittent fasting that I'm doing, I'm eliminating quite a few meals out of my week, which allows me to indulge when I want to and to also still lose weight. Um, I am not sure what my goal is. I know that I'm not there yet, but I will know when I get there. And I'm going to continue um, doing what I'm doing right now uh, because I'm seeing results and I'm learning to be patient. I'm learning to enjoy the journey. Um, like I said, I'm not patient. So <laughs> this has definitely been a uh, learning experience for me overall. So I hope that I have given you some information that you'll be able to use. I hope it has been beneficial to you. Again, go to my website, elenasegura.com, click the writing tab, and then you will see the blog, My Weight Loss Plan. And I've discussed, you'll see the video there, but um, like the book and the podcast and, and the different things that I've touched on, there will be some additional information there for you to look at if you're interested. Um, but again, I'm not advocating for you to do this just how I've done it. We are all different. We are all unique. Our goals are different. Our body types are different. So what might work for me may not work for you. And I'm not saying that you should go out and do what I'm doing. I'm simply answering the questions that um, I have heard from people that they want to know, hey, what are you doing? How are you doing it? Oh, what is intermittent fasting? Um, so I hope that I've been able to touch on some of that so that you kind of have an understanding and perhaps it becomes something that you want to look into if you are trying to lose weight, um, you know, have some sort of a, a transformation in life. For me, it's not just about the body. It's not just about the weight. It is a mental, spiritual, and physical transformation. And I intend to do the intermittent fasting for the rest of my life and the calorie counting as well. It's just that at some point I will have to go, okay, I've hit my goal. Now I have to maintain it. But that's how I'm doing it. I hope this has been official. Check out the additional information that I provided on my website and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.